What's up guys, today we're going to be doing this hologram effect. Before I get into the video, I just want to say that I'm having a huge sale for the next 48 hours on my Final Cut Pro plugin store. So if you're looking for any new effects, transitions, color packs to help your videos and make them better, then check out the link below. Okay, so for this effect to work, you need to have one shot where you're pretending to scroll through the hologram or looking at the hologram, whatever you want to do. And to make the hologram, all I did was screen recorded using the QuickTime screen record software on my computer of me scrolling through my Instagram pictures. This is the screen recording. I've just cropped what I don't need on the screen recording. And yeah, I just did that using the crop uh, feature in Final Cut Pro over here on the right hand side. So once I did that, then I centered up the screen recording in the middle of my screen. And then what I'm going to do is right click and go to new compound clip. Okay, then I'm going to drag that over my video clip. So the first thing I want to do is make it sort of transparent. So to do that, I'm going to select my video clip, go over here to uh, the opacity and just put the opacity down to 50%. And the next thing I need to do is to move the hologram in 3D uh, space so that it's in the right position and it looks right that I'm sort of looking at it. So we can't do that with the normal transform tool. So I'm going to use an effect called 3D orientation. So I'm going to go to my effects tab, go down to uh, 3D orientation, it's right here. And then I'm going to add that to my video clip. I don't think this is included in Final Cut Pro, so I'll leave the link to it down below. It's a free plugin. So now once I've added that, I go up here to my parameters. You can see when I change these, it moves the screen recording in 3D space, which is pretty cool. So I'm just going to flip it around so that it looks like it's come from the phone screen. Okay, so that looks about right. Now what I'm going to do is match up the um, scrolling of the uh, screen recording to the scrolling of my hand motion. To make this easier, what I'm going to do is add a marker just before the hologram starts scrolling up. So there we go, it starts scrolling up. I'm going to go here, put the marker there and just press M on my keyboard. And that's going to create this little marker down here. And then I'm also going to do that to my video clip. I'm going to go to the point just before I start scrolling up and then create a marker, pressing M on my keyboard on the video clip. And then I'm just going to line these two markers up right here. And now when I play it, it looks like I'm scrolling the uh, the hologram up. And then I do it a second time in the video, but the hologram doesn't move. So I, now I need to link those up. And to do that, instead of cutting the clip and having to create another compound clip later, I'm just going to add a speed ramp. So I'm going to add another marker first. And then I'm just going to select my hologram, hold shift, press B to create a speed ramp and then also one just right here. And then just speed that up. Actually, I'm gonna double click and get rid of the speed transitions because we don't need the speed transitions. That would just mess up the video clip. And then yeah, I'm just going to change the speed of this middle section so that the markers line up just like that. So now when I play it back, the second time I scroll up, the hologram scrolls up too. And then I finally just press the hologram at the end and that's where I'll just cut it. So now if we play this back, it looks like I'm scrolling up. So that's looking good. Now I'm going to do the animation of the hologram coming out from the phone. That's when I want the hologram to pop up. So I'm just gonna create a marker there and another marker there select my hologram, go to the transform tool, and then just press this keyframe button up here. So that is the end point of the animation. And then I'm gonna go back to the first marker and just change the scale. You can do this using this or the transform tools over here. I'm gonna make that go all the way down to zero and then just drag it. Okay, I can't drag it when it's zero. And just drag it to the phone, bring it all the way down to zero. So now we should have the 
animation of it popping up. So if it's a bit slow, then what you can do is right click on your hologram and go to show video animation. And this will bring up the transform keyframes that you just added. And by bringing the first one closer to the second one, you can actually speed up this animation. And then I'm also going to add some motion blur to this. So I'm going to go over here to my titles tab and go down to motion blur and drag in moderate motion blur free and just add that over the animation. And if you don't have this plugin, then uh, I'll leave a link to it down below. It's a free uh, download. But yeah, you can see it adds a nice bit of motion blur to the uh, animation of the of the hologram popping up. Just like that. So now what I'm going to do is add a bit of glow to the hologram, just to make it look a bit nicer. So I'm going to go to my effects tab and search for Glint, which is a really good glow plugin. I'm going to add that to my hologram and I'll leave the link to this plugin down below. That's a free download and we can just change the settings on this. I'm going to turn the tint up to turn it blue. So it's giving it just a nice glow. So the final thing you can do to make it look a bit better is if the phone or the projector or wherever the hologram's coming from, if that's moving around a lot, then you can track the hologram to that object. And to do that, what I'm going to do is select it and turn it into a compound clip and select the transform tool. Let's zoom in a bit. 50. Drag this point down to the object that the projection's coming from. And then just change the anchor point to move the hologram back to where it was. And then all I'm going to do is select a transform tool, hit this keyframe button, and then skip through the frames and track this um, anchor point to the corner of the phone. So I'm just going to skip through the frames using arrow keys on the keyboard. Okay, so let's have a look back at that now that that's all tracked. And there we go, that turned out uh, pretty cool for a, a quick little edit. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.